Hi, I'm Doug, and this is Chris. Hello. And uh, welcome to uh, to our second video. Um, hopefully, by now you've read uh, the second chapter of our ebook, which is uh, why people have affairs. Um, and uh, you would have read about uh, the six human needs. Now, um, this is so important. Um, if any of these six needs are being met, then um, it's just human nature that you will try and address them. Uh, and this is so often the reason why people go out um, and, uh, and look outside of their relationship um, when some of these needs aren't being met. So, um, although we, we kind of outline them in the book, we'd just like to go through them in a little bit more depth here. Um, so the first one is certainty. Now, um, we, we all need a, a certain amount of certainty in our lives. And certainty can become like, uh, can be rather, having, uh, having a, a regular income. Uh, and uh, just as basic as having a roof of, uh, over your head. Uh, people do need that. And, uh, and if, if they haven't got certainty uh, within a relationship, they will go and find someone who is going to give them certainty. Uh, the second one is variety, uh, it's often called uncertainty. Um, uh, and basically, just as you need the certainty, you also need a certain amount of variety. Now, um, so often we get uh, couples come to us, and the reason why one has gone off and, uh, and looked elsewhere in their relationship is because they've said that their relationship's got into a bit of a rut, um, got a bit boring, um, and they, they, they've looked for a bit of excitement, a bit of variety. So again, this is, uh, this is a very important need that has to be met within the relationship. Um, the third one is significance. That's right. And everybody wants to feel significant. You know, whatever area of your life you're in, um, you know, it's just human nature to want to feel as if you're important, made to feel, you know, you, that you're, you're special. Um, and I know for me that, um, you know, especially because of some challenges in my past life when growing up, um, at an unconscious level, I was really crying out for significance, which was not always in a good way, um, which can sometimes be the case. And, but in a relationship, it is even more so important, is that, you know, you make each other feel significant. And, you know, this can be done by many um, different little ways, which, you know, it, we've covered in the book as well. The other one is love and connection. And to me, this is the most important, is, you know, if you don't have the love um, together and, you know, the connection, which comes down to the communication as well, um, is that yes, definitely you will start to look elsewhere for it. Like I mentioned in the last video um, about um, the, the good relationship I had with the person I used to work with. And, you know, if, you know, I was feeling that I wasn't getting the love and connection from Doug, it, it would have been very easy mm. for that relationship to become more than it was. Um, because it could have very easily, because we had the connection, we, it could have gone into more of a love situation. So this is very much why, you know, you know, we get people contacting us about relationships with people at work um, quite a lot, don't we, Daniel? Mm. Yeah, and, sure. um, you know, so, you know, always my first sort of thought is when I get that from somebody is that, well, you know, they're just not getting it at home because, you know, you don't want to, or you wouldn't even want to go elsewhere if you had it in your own home. Mm. Yeah, and so, so often we kind of take each other for granted. Um, we're all really busy, uh, we don't take time out from our busy schedules just to make sure that, uh, that we are giving the love um, and keeping the connection going. And so much of it um, comes back to communication. You know, I'm sure you've picked up already on what we've said and what you've read, uh, that communication is absolutely key. So, um, you know, what we're, we're looking to do on these videos, really, is to give you little ideas and little exercises that you can do to really um, get the connection, uh, so get the communication and the connection uh, going between you. Um, so that the fifth, the fifth one is growth. Um, all relationships need to grow. Uh, as people, we need to grow. Um, and um, because of the need to grow, it's very important that we grow together. Um, so, so often um, you, do, uh, you do hear of couples uh, parting after a long time together because they say they've kind of, uh, their, their, their relationship has run out of steam. Um, so, and that's because they've grown apart. 
So you know, it's so important really to make sure that the uh, that your relationship, uh, as it grows and develops, that you 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 do keep talking and you grow your relationship together. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, and then the the last uh, human need is is contribution. Um, everybody has a need to contribute, whether it's to contribute uh, to to the relationship, uh, maybe to the family maybe to a charity, it's just something that we all feel at a, at a level that we need to, to do. And again, um, if there isn't a possibility within the relationship, maybe one partner is really controlling, for example, and doesn't allow the other one to contribute, then, then again this is a danger where, where people will go and look to contribute elsewhere and invariably go and look to contribute with somebody else. So that's just the, the, the real importance of the, uh, of the six needs.